start spreading the ooze. Yeah, baby, we're in New York, New York at Threat Life Stadium. The fans here can always expect high rent, high Broadway ticket prices, and high body counts, along with the smell of urine in the streets. Today's matchup promises severed limbs and ruined careers. The Atlanta Vultures take on the New York Tyrants. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Once again, everyone, Grim Blitzrow here, along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flucked my model. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, it sounds like my off-season. And it's first and ten. Uh -huh. Intercepts the ball. Thank you very much, sister. Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two. And I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just... He just put that guy out of his misery and says, who's next? Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All we need is 77 to bite it. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. Man, he's running like a bull on steroids. That'll be a first down. First and four. One time when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard, I went into a dark tunnel. Thought I saw my grandparents waving at me in the light. Turns out it was just the visitor's tunnel that he knocked me into, and it was the paramedics waving fingers in my face. Touchdown! Oh, he ran through those defenders like a greased turkey. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. They'll jump over those mines or steer clear of them. And the kicker just bit the dust on that play. Someone will have to call off the bench to replace him. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? You know, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably cramped his pants. And it's first and ten. And that's the way you play a guy. Nice coverage. Second down and ten. Third down and, well, good luck. 
And that's a run for no gain. Then it's not really a run, is it? Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. He's got the ball now. And Don't you just love the sound of bones snapping and cracking? I mean, when they're not yawn. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. And this guy runs angry and runs hard. First down. And it's first and ten. Gets in there and swats the ball away. He can't catch, but he sure can swat. Second down and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. Oh, the quarterback said they blow up the defense today. Oh, my God. A man from prison just came out of the field. That's the ref, you idiot. Let's see what the penalty is. down and never gonna happen. Hot one, hot two. That pass was way off target, but I'm pretty sure the QB will blame the receiver as he always does. And they'll line up for the punt here. He boomed that one. Let's see if they can get a return. And he snagged the Oh, devastating hit. You ever get hit that hard, Bricks? You Third grade, Sister Mary Margaret of Our Ladies of Holy Hell. I, I thought it was brass knuckles, but it was just a regular knuckles. And it's first and ten. Second down and more than the QB would like. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Rex. And he pounds the ball into the defense, picking up seven. And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross stitching, unbelievable. And he's got a oh, nice hit. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot. And this guy looks like Thor on a revenge bender right now. Oh, he took a leap and hit the ball, knocked out. Fumble! He's got a case of fumbleitis. He scores! Now, there are some who would argue that we should just skip this step and make touchdowns worth seven. What, and kick the kicker's job in half? They'd just be called sitters then. The kick is good! As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And it's first and ten. A nice.
nice run there for eight yards. Second down and two. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, 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 hot. Just keep pounding the ball right up the gut. You'll tire the with the vicious kill. Did you know light hits are one of the leading causes of death for mutants over 25? I didn't know that. Yeah, right below attending bachelor parties and owning a Sam Schwong Galaxy phone. And it's first and ten. Hey, guys, this isn't funny. I swear to drunk, I'm not God, but seriously, stay in drugs, eat school, and don't do vegetables. Yeah, Junior's having a flashback, man. What do we do? Down him talk, so Iotic comes up. Uh, yeah, right. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Yeah, you came for talent. I only we get how much. Third down and long. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my... Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? Third down in the offense. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. <laughs> Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Footsteps, so he tossed the ball out of bounds. Good move. Well, they couldn't pick up a first down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back nicely. Nice catch, and he turns it on the afterburner. Punt returners in the... Oh, what a great defensive play that was, Bricks. Kind of like your Aunt Bertha. This guy has some big balls. What a hit. Yeah, she does have a big pair, Grim. You're right. That ball was almost intercepted. The teams are all tied up at the end of quarter one. We'll be right back. Second down and ten. pick. Man, this quarterback must have learned a lot about sharing when he was in school. Yeah. Oh, what the brutal hit! <laughs> and it's first and ten. Murphy Brown! What? What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. And it's first and ten. <laughs> and with another pick, the QB says, I don't always throw interceptions, but when I do, it's when the game and the NFL keeps pounding out the death hits on WMFL 98.8, the greatest hits of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest hits? Wham! Well, And they line up for the extra point. It goes.
rolls right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. And it's first and ten. Up a two. And that'll be second and eight to go. One speed engage. When the defense calls Thunderclap, the offense is toast. Oh, did he ever get zapped? Reminds me, you ever hear that Zappa song, Watch Out Where the Huskies Go? Don't you eat that yellow snow? When I was a kid, I always ate the yellow snow. They were like lemon snow cones. But them fudge ice cream sandwiches, eh, they didn't taste so good. Can't that line the way a Republican congressman hits the airport men's room. Good and hard. First down. First and eight to go. Second down and a very lot. And he catches it for a touchdown! What a beautiful play! Yeah, it's almost poetic, man! Like a haiku! <laughs> well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> Straight through the uprights. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Does the QB know which team he's on? I don't even know where I'm at. Oh, he just got popped big time. Oh, my God. I thought his head was going to pop off like a big zit. And it's first and ten. The quarterback passes the ball and it rebounds back. Yep, the defense calls a sticky ball dirty trick, and the QB is in a heap of trouble now. <laughs> Second down and long. And this guy's like a human cannonball. First down. Yeah, my next door neighbor was a human cannonball, Grim. He drowned in his pool. First down and nine. Oh, and you can bury that guy because he is dead. Oh, did you see what number he was? I gotta check it off my Dead Mutant bingo card. I only need one more. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. 
Looks like he'll be able to run this one back if he's not terrified for his life. He is, but he's got no choice. And it's first and ten. A mix of tiger blood, shark blood, and internet comment. At this point, with multiple interceptions, the QB should just throw in the towel. Yeah, he's probably able to intercept it, though. He's rumbling and stumbling. He could... Oh, now the offense is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. Fantastic. Boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. And the NFL winning is really about... Oh, man, he just killed that guy when the play was over. Well, if the ref didn't see it, at least the mortician did. He's coming out in the field now. And it's first and ten. Caught for the first down. Oh, and the late hit arrives right on time. When it's your time to go, it's your time. First down and three. Oh, and did he just put on a display there? Touchdown! Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. We're at the two-minute warning, and we'll take a quick timeout. Graham, will you tell the interns to get us some Frank and dogs and a couple of beers? I'm dry over here. I'll take nachos and a scotch. Uh, at least they can pee for me, too. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Sleeties this morning. Boom! And it's first and ten. And that is caught for a first down. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. You can kill people. And it's first and ten. Oh, that was a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I'll bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim. But my watch is a bit slow. Oh, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. for a yard. Second down and nine. He punches his way at home at about a six 
your gain. Hey, do me a favor. My parole officer calls. I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. It's a tie game at the end of quarter two. The teams are deadlocked in a fierce struggle today. We'll be right back with today's halftime show brought to you by Monsatan Industries. Eat their delicious Franken food. Hey, during the half, can you pick me up a soil and beer? Third quarter, we are all tied up and set to kick off the second half. Uh, speaking of all tied up, Grim, how many of them elephant lags in a belt did I take? Uh, I feel like I'm sitting on Mount Vesuvio right now. Oh, one false move, and I'm gonna blow! Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. Oh, no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I got to see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. a first down from a great catch. Was it a catch, though? Let's consult at least 72 pages of rules to figure it out. And it's first and ten. And he's able to grab that one somehow and hold on for the first down. And then a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. And it's first and ten. That's a gain of seven yards on the... Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. <laughs> That's why I love this guy. And so are the fans. Second and three. And he was steering a pick six, but dropped the interception. And it's why he's on defense, schmuck. Third down and three. Uh -oh. And he snags it for six. Touchdown! Touchdown! You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us, too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Grim, I just dashed. On it. Third down and, and they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Six yards on the play. Now well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss. They let the punt drop, and it will be down by the defense. And it's first and ten. up about six on the play. And that'll be second down and four. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Third down and a pussy here. Quarterback likes to play with soft balls, but the defense, they're playing with big balls and just crushed his balls. That's a lot of balls, Grim. Ah. 
And the punter takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross pitching, unbelievable. And he snags the punt and looks for open field. And a dog named Snag. That, my friends, was an all pro MFL hit. And it's first and ten. down in nine. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's more of a downest guy than a speed thing, Grim. He's running from his team. He's clear. We can't have him. I don't know if we can have him. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Turn here to set up the offense. He sits up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's first and ten. Oh, mama! He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. Second down and six. I don't know whose eyes the QB is using, but can we get him some new ones? That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. And it's first and ten. And he's up. Boom, dead and down. He just sent a message with that hit. Yeah, the message was you can't kill the messenger because he's going to kill you. But then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, uh, going in circles. And it's first and ten. And he just wrestles away from that. He runs it for three. Oh, mama. Just call him Cap and Crunch. Another one bites the dust. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like I mean, rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. Second down and seven. <laughs> Boom, dead and down. He delivered the freaky fast ham sandwich with extra mustard for the death blow. Speaking of ham sandwiches, I'm gonna go grab one. You want anything? Now, yeah, still working on my salami here, Briggs. Thanks. That's what she said. Ah, ah, didn't work that time. It was close, though. Yep. And it's first and ten. I'm gonna say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. The defense has the receivers covered well. That's a three-yard gain on that pass. Third down and five. And the Droid Rage dirty trick transforms a player into a rampaging lunatic. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Most kickers should be able to make this one. But will this kicker make it? Find out next time on MFL Game Day. Uh, MFL is It's good.
When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Yeah, what about when you get knocked out? What do you do then? Run. And it's first and ten. Destruction in his path. He's hit the 40. That's a touchdown saving tackle right there. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Grim? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. And it's first and ten. Play by the defense. It's not too often a quarterback gets rejected. That's why that's the position I originally tried out for. I want to know what it's like for other people to accept you. Now that went from a joke to making me feel feelings. Stop it. This isn't a place to feel feelings. Listen, at this rate, the QB is going to have more interceptions than come. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Oh, And it's first and ten. His cleats are caked in blood and guts, and he's looking to score. Oh, a great catch, and he picks up a new set of downs. And that brings us to the end of the third quarter. They'll need to fire on all cylinders to make a comeback in the final quarter. And it's first and ten. Oh, big catch! Big run! Big touchdown! Yeah, big deal. Missed a beat for Bray Cram with a ball and didn't fall down. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. He's not going down. First and ten. Hey, oh, you knew you were going to see a lot of carnage today, folks. These teams have bad blood between them. Apparently, they got it from the same blood mobile that usually parks outside next to the taco truck. Raccoon rabies blood is my thought. Always a player's favorite. Second down and ten. First down. I don't know if they're... I know how to set another hit a man when he's down. He's just plain lazy. Nice extra effort there. <laughs> and it's first and ten. his way out of that tackle. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it.
I like this. They're going for two. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Man, what a hit that was. And it's first and ten. And the defense gets another pick. Man, rough. Oh, and that one's going to hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. If you don't think you can make the interception, batting it down is the next best thing. Great advice, Grim. That receiver's gonna go far in this league if he listens to you. I wasn't talking to... Yeah, never mind. Yes, Brick, he will. Whoa. Looks like a pass, and it's bouncing right back to... Oh, and he looks like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. Yeah, sounds like my off-season. Third down and, well, good luck. Man, I've had it. I'm running out of excuses for this QB. You just, you just throw it to the guy. He broke free and has open field in front of him. The 20. The 10. He scores. He earned those points on the heels of an epic run. Nah, don't call things epic, Grim. Kids aren't going to think you're cool no matter what you do. Junior, I don't want kids to think I'm cool. Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. Straight through the uprights. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. <laughs> the burn returner was killed on that play. The coach will replace him with another player. And it's first and ten. And it's first and ten. Bam! Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Ah, uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. And he finds open spaces running toward the end zone. Turn on your jets, you son of a bitch! And here comes the extra point attempt. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run.
And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidentally happens to be Brent's max stupsy time. That's why the girls call me Splow. He took like a thousand folks a shot there. They did that to my Aunt Lizzie because she thought she was the reincarnation of Lizzie Borden and the Ant Smiler. Did the shot treatment work? Well, after she killed four of the doctors and zapped her, they never bothered her again. So, yeah, I, I guess it worked for her. And it's first and ten. Away from the pass marker? That's a good clue that something's not right. Second down and ten. Good night, Irene. Have you ever get hit in the face with a shovel, Graham? I have. And trust me, the hit that guy just took was worse. And it's first and ten. And they stack the line, and he gets his bell rung for a yard. Second down and nine. And he put on the afterburners after that catch and scored. Nicely done. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. It's good. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. And the quarterback signals for a hurry-up offense. Hey, Grim, what's the hurry-up offense? There's no huddle. The offense calls plays at the line of scrimmage, and, and that's the kind of play you pay the secondary for. You pay him for the pick six. For this, you just give him a pat on the head and tell him they don't suck. First down. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the NFL. First and ten. And that's another turnover for the defense. Oh, he just got crushed. Boom, dead and down. Nothing more to say about this guy except maybe a eulogy. Ah, uh, well, he was a violent alcoholic, a terrible father, and uh, he did some nasty things to dogs. <clears throat> but, uh, I mean, he was a great ball player. Uh, you know, that's really what counts at the end of the day, right? And it's first and ten. They quickly call a timeout, hoping to save some time for their offense. Second down and a lot. Boom, dead and down. Was you can't kill the messenger because he's gonna kill you, but then he won't be able to read the message because the messenger killed him. Ah, going in circles. Third down, and the punter is warming up. Oh, the unstoppable force meets the explodable object. And he just slipped away like a grip, and he's off to the races. Look at that little. lost their last running back on the previous play. Next time the offense comes out in the field, they will have no running plays. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Oh, Grim, did I kill him? Quarterback pass 
catches for a touchdown. Yeah, man, I was huge on the on that one. Don't want to make any mistakes here. Just kick the ball through the upright, for God's sake. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They'll be going onside here, and the return team is ready for it. No surprises here. Usually only talk about oh man he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy oh, gotta love it he should bite his head off for an encore grim <laughs> in a hurry up offense there is no huddle so neither team can put their players on the bench First down. <laughs> and it's and the offense quickly calls their second time out. That's how you do it. Do what? The quarterback goes into a hurry up offense. He's looking for a quick score. Aren't we all win. Aren't we all. And with another pick, the QB says, I don't know how to throw interceptions, but when I and like bricks is bound. He is loose and heading for the end zone. He could go all the way. And it's first and ten. And that's their last timeout. The defense can't bend or break. They've got to get a stop here. Second down and ain't gonna happen, partner. And that's a run for no gain. Third down and forever. He could go all the way. He's at the 30. Nicely done for a first down. Oh, come on, that was a cheap shot. The New York Tyrants lose the game. They've got 99 problems, but a win ain't one of them. That's right, Grim. Just like a bridge over troubled water. Like a whole lot of Rosie. The game's most valuable player is speaking about the victory now. <laughs> Once again, the folks at Evil SN thank our viewing audience and the Mutant Football League for allowing us to telecast this sports presentation. This is Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. signing off. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Microhard Corporation. They get it right every up.